create and share quotations and invoices, capture orders and receipts from Busy Mobile app. From Busy 21 release 8.0 onwards, and latest version of Busy Mobile app allows to create and share quotations and invoices, capture orders and receipts from Busy Mobile app. For this, first of all, you need to do configuration in Busy Desktop version. For that, you can create a new CloudSync user or if we have already created one, we will modify that user, we will assign various report rights. After assigning report rights, you can see a transaction rights grid is also appearing. Assign the transaction rights to the user such as sales receipt, sales order, sales quotation. Also select the series type. Here you need to select cloud sync as the series. Here one thing to note is that after selecting the cloud sync series, the user can add transactions in busy mobile app only and cannot add transaction in busy desktop version. Voucher numbering for the selected transactions should be automatic or manual, especially for sales order and sales quotation. Next, we will select the sale type. Here, two sale types are appearing, local item wise, local tax inclusive. Only these two sale types can be selected for busy mobile app. Now, important point to note here is that only CloudSync user can add transaction in Busy Mobile app. Super user of the company can log in the Busy Mobile app but cannot add transaction. Whereas a sub user of Busy company cannot log in and cannot add transaction in Busy Mobile app. Changes that have been done will go to data export import, CloudSync, incremental upload, and Update the changes on cloud server. Also, the speed of incremental data upload is enhanced by 50% in this release. Now we'll move to the dial app. We'll enter the login credentials and click on proceed securely button. Now here you see a transaction button is appearing. We will click on this button and you can see receipt, sales order, sales invoice, sales quotation options are appearing. Now we will be adding a sales order and receipt. First we are adding a sales order. Select the party name, date, click on add items. We will select the item. If price and discount is already defined and busy, the same will be picked here. You can change the price and discount if you want. Click add item to add another item. After adding the items, click on done. If you want to add any bill sundry or narration, click on add bill sundry and narration. Then click on save button to save the voucher. Voucher sync successfully, message is appearing. If you want to add a voucher, click on add more voucher option. Or if you want to view list, click on view list and you can view list of unsaved vouchers. Next, we will be adding a receipt voucher. We will select the party name. We will select the date. the amount if you want to add any narration click adjust bills to adjust the pending bill references and click on update button voucher sync successfully next we'll move back to the busy desktop version we'll go to administration data export import Cloud Sync. Here you see download transactions option is appearing. We will click on this option and you can see all the transactions that have been entered in Busy Mobile app. 
now we will reopen this transaction and resave this transaction in busy or you can do the same in bulk by selecting all and saving the vouchers only super user can download the transactions that are feeded in busy mobile app no sub user has the right to do the same you can see the transactions are now saved under busy desktop also both the sales order the receipt voucher also now if you have configure auto upload uh, through busy agent same will be sent to the cloud server or you can do it manually through manual incremental upload so in this manner you can add receipt sales order sales invoice sales quotation through busy mobile app for more videos subscribe to our youtube channel